Today, we're going to be talking about masculinity and we're gonna be talking about how to maximize it now in 2022. Masculinity has changed a lot and it's evolved a lot from the 1950s up until now. It's gone through various ups and downs throughout history, but I feel like now we really need to come back more to masculinity because of the social factors that are currently happening around the world. So today what I wanna do is focus on how to maximize courage, how to maximize strength, honor, and mastery. These are four key masculine virtues that I believe every man has to maximize to their highest potential to actually exemplify what it is to be a strong man. So let's jump into it. Let's go back and analyze history. If we go back to the times of the Spartans or the ancient Greeks, war was very familiar to these societies. They would train their boys as they were kids to become soldiers and to become warriors so they can defend and protect their tribe. Masculine virtues are instilled on these young boys from a very young age from their mature father figures. These father figures pass down traditions, values, and different codes that we as men must abide by. Since we are getting farther and farther away from these traditions, we are beginning to forget about these powerful traditions, these masculine traditions that were instilled from us for hundreds and thousands of years. Now we must consciously go forth and seek these masculine virtues and acquire them, obtain them, to add them into our masculine arsenal. There have been countless of studies that have shown that testosterone levels have decreased dramatically in the last couple of decades. Some of the reasons why testosterone has dropped so much is because of the products that we use. A lot of the times they decrease our testosterone levels. As our societies become more technologically advanced, our way of life is becoming a lot easier. We no longer have to go out and hunt for food. We can easily just go to the grocery store and we have anything that we want at our fingertips. Life has just become a lot easier for us. And I would argue that this is also making men a lot softer. One of the best books I've read about positive masculinity has been The Way of Men by Jack Donovan. Jack in this book explains how the four key virtues to masculinity are strength, courage, mastery and honor in the book the author does a great job of explaining why these four key virtues are very important for a tribe of men think about your tribe as a prison gang you can also think about it as a platoon a military platoon where you're trying to acquire the best warriors for your team this thought process is still very instilled into our masculine psyche we always want to pick tribesmen, fellow tribesmen that display these characteristics because they are going to ensure the survival and the strength of our tribe. Now, let's go ahead and break down these four key traits. Starting off with strength. Strength is physical strength. The stronger you are, the more value you provide to the tribe. You can pick up heavier objects, you can move heavy items, nothing stands in your way because you have that physical strength that can help you. You can protect and you can also defend the tribe due to your physical strength. The second key trait is courage. Courage is acting with bravery in spite of there being fear. Even though there's fear and you still act, this means that you are courageous. If you do not act when there is fear, this means you are a coward. When you display courageousness, you instill triumph and success within your tribe. This is a emotional benefit to have amongst your tribesmen. Courage instills an attitude of positivity, of success, of willingness to conquer. It is a very powerful trait to have and it is very admired amongst fellow tribesmen. The third key trait is mastery. Mastery is intelligence. If you can provide a strategy, if you can build weapons, if you can build machinery, engineering, this is a very powerful trait to have for your tribesmen because you can provide them with the tools necessary for victory. Think about engineers, think about architects, think about men who are capable with weapons, who are strategics, know how to move a chessboard, know how to make decisions. 
These men are very strategic and they display the values of mastery. The last key trait is honor. Honor is keeping your word, having integrity, and doing what you say you are going to do. The best way to think about honor is if you're playing part of a sports team. When you're part of that sports team, you and your fellow teammates are thinking that in every play you are going to try your very best. You are not going to finish competing until the very last minute of that game and you're going to give your best effort. This is honor. You are trying to honor your, your team members by giving them the respect that is necessary to be part of the same team. These are the four key virtues to masculinity. I would invite you to check out the book, The Way of Men by Jack Donovan. It goes more in depth on these key subjects. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video, and follow the content. We drop videos just like this every Tuesday and Thursday, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll catch all of you in the next video. Stay strong and keep on conquering.